beginner-friendly two-tone zipper pouch coming up. Hello crafters, welcome to Anjurisa's crafting room. In this video, we'll have another fun and beginner-friendly project, making a zipper pouch using two pieces of fabric. If you would like to try an easier way using only one piece of fabric, which is perfect for beginners, you can check out my previous videos that appears on the top right corner. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using 7 inch zipper and the total length including the zipper tape is about 8 and a quarter inches. Next, prepare a piece of fabric that is slightly shorter than the length of the zipper. My fabric size is approximately 10 by 8 inches. I'm using soft canvas, which is sufficient to make a pouch without using interfacing. However, if you're using a soft cotton fabric, you may want to consider using interfacing for added structure and stability. Let's begin by folding the fabric in half and pressing it gently with your hands. This will create a visible folding line. Place the zipper alongside this line, then fold the fabric back over the zipper. Now we are ready to sew this part together. As I mentioned in my previous video, even though I already have many zipper presser foot, I recently purchased another one without any particular expectation. Surprisingly, I instantly like this new zipper foot the first time I use it. With this presser foot, I can sew the zipper smoothly without needing to slide the zipper head to sew a straight line. After sewing, turn the fabric over so we can see the right side. Let's put this aside and take another piece of fabric of the same size. Fold it with the right sides together and press it gently. Choose the preferred size if it's not clear which is the right side. Place the zipper along the fold line. Then fold the fabric back over the zipper. Sew this part using the same presser foot. Now turn the fabric over. And we can gently press it. Notice that I'm pressing the fabric away from the zipper. This will help the zipper slide smoothly. Once everything is nicely pressed, proceed to top stitch alongside the zipper. If you're enjoying this tutorial and would like to support my work, consider visiting my Etsy where you will find other exclusive patterns. While I'm just getting started, your visit and feedback mean a lot as I continue to grow my Etsy. Click the link in the description below to explore. After top stitching, pay attention to the zipper head. Unzip the zipper halfway. This will be the outside of our pouch. Use a hair clip or safety pin to mark this important part. Join the seam here and push the zipper toward the inside of the pouch, which isn't marked with the hair clip. Repeat the same process on the other side, pushing the zipper toward the inside of the pouch. Secure everything in place with fabric clips. If you are adding your own label, now is the time to do so. You can place it either on the outside or inside of the pouch. I will add mine to the inside. Sew all around the edges, leaving a gap on the inside of the pouch. This is where the hair clip or safety pin comes in handy. For marking the outside of the pouch, make sure that the gap is on the inside of the pouch as you sew. Sewing the zipper part here may be a bit challenging due to the multiple layers of fabric. Take your time and sew carefully and slowly to make sure a clean finish. Trim all four corners to create nice, clean corners on the finished product. Additionally, 
trim the site where the zipper tape is located to reduce bulkiness and achieve a smoother result. Turn the fabric inside out through the opening. To close the opening quickly, sew a straight line near the edge of the fabric. For a neater finish, you can use invisible stitch technique, which creates seams that are almost invisible from the outside. You can also check out my previous videos link in the top right corner. However, using the invisible stitch method can take some time. So if you're working on this project in bulk and need a quicker finish, sewing a straight line near the fabric edge can be a more efficient option. After closing the opening, tuck the fabric inside. And the final step is to gently press the pouch to give it a clean polished look. And that's it! Our simple pouch made from two pieces of fabric is finished. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, consider giving a thumbs up and sharing this video. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button and leave your feedback. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to reply it with shots. See you in my next video. Bye!